is up guys it's me cody thomas bear you can call me cody bear if you want uh today i'm shifting the channel in another direction instead of making these color things off the up happy color because that's probably gonna get me sued <laughs> um i'm gonna be shifting it to weapons or it's fake and art for the time being also if you want some vr content my friend Riley has just made Party VR. He'll be uploading, I think, another time this week. Um, but on with the sword. This is um, a Japanese katana. Don't worry, it's fake, like I said before. It's a uh, sturdy wood. If you want to know more about it, I, I'd recommend looking up online, but I'll just give you a brief run through. The hilt, the hilt of the sword, or the handle, is a very sturdy one, probably connected right down to the sword. That's how most wooden blades work, or blades in general. The blade goes down about here-ish, so it doesn't fall off as easy. Uh, speaking of, it has a nice scaly under in this red bit, and um, the, the gold is mostly fabric. The hilt or handguard, as you want to call it, is furry for, I guess, more protection? really not uh, or just keep your hand warm <laughs> um the paint on this is really nice as well a uh, nice gray if you know the exact uh color just comment down below on to the well sheath hill whatever whatever it's called make sure to comment down below it's it's nice and sturdy made out of a thick plastic if you want to get rid of these i highly suggest not to it's one of the only places you'll be able to store your swords a uh, real or fake anyway it's really it's really important you also put them on correctly because it could damage your paint on your wooden sword or damage your metal sword if you have one okay uh so this is made out of a nice plastic or yeah probably plastic there's a ribbon on this most swords or japanese katanas do have these so the japanese can touch them to their belt, the samurai, for easy use. Also, I'll just explain how to use a sword oh, like a regular human being and not the anime character you want to be. First of all, don't hold it with one hand. That's what happens. The sword is really hard to balance and is quite top heavy, especially if it's a metal one. Hold it with both hands like so. Yep. While you're holding it, there's some basic, you get more, you get more support in the sword and genuinely a more cleaner experience. Uh, before you start cutting with a metal sword, you have to go through a bunch of laws. I don't really want to explain in this video. Make it unnecessary long and probably shift the perspective of the sword. Um, anyway, it's a lovely, it's a sword, it's not dull, as you can clearly see, fake. So you can cut, you can do whatever you want with it. Yeah. Um, but that's, that's it. Um, okay. Make sure to keep it nice and clean. Peace out, lemon trunk.